přivítal mezi námi za vašeho potlesku. Jan Galo! Dobrá zpráva je, že mám naději. I'm here. Jsem tu. And I'm happy to be here. A jsem šťastný, že tu můžu být. But my magic suitcase. Ale not, můj kouzelný kufr not happy it's není šťastný, India. protože je v Mumbai. Thanks to Scandinavian Airlines. Díky skandinávským areolům. <laughs> They managed to send me here and my props to the other side of the world. And that's a miracle. Because that means take a parachute or take another plane. <laughs> But anyhow, I am here now. And uh, my mentor, gentleman Jack, he said something very nice. He said, when you have a problem, all you have to do is to sit down, sing a happy song. So if there is no money in the bank account, uh, no contracts ahead, just relax, sing a happy song. And everything will change. And I must say, I never felt such an urge to sing a happy song. <laughs> so that's now I'm going to sing a happy song. A song about uh, banknotes. It's an old jazz standard. It's from 1920, so it's even older than I am. Every time it rains, it rains, banknotes from heaven. Don't you know, each club contains Banknotes from the thunder. Ah, don't run under the tree. There will be plenty of money, plenty of magic for you and for me. They never stop. Okay, here we are. Yeah. You see, when I had, I lost my baggage. So I have to construct a new act very quick. I have no access to uh, a magic shop. So I went in town and I bought a few things. I bought, bought a bandana. But, uh, don't worry, that will be magic anyhow. My teacher, Dutch, he said you can do magic with everything. And now is the time, now is the time to prove it. But, but before I do that, do you mind if I Nebude vám vadit, když si sundám no, sako? Okay. No. Protože je to horko. So we got permission. Oh. <laughs> uh, Možná budu Máme všechno v rukách. But this is almost ridiculous. <laughs> oh. 
Vážu peníze tady po okolí. I think you should do real big fight. Myslím, že byste mi měli udělat laskavost. Will you all stand up? Stoupnete si všichni? So early in the morning. Oh, thank you very much. And will you put your hands together in a standing ovation for the organization of this convention? A za to chci. Big applause for them. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Not so much. And I can see you look on this and you say, what the hell is this? This, dear friends, this is a friendship, right, Matt? At least I, I think it is. I got it uh, in uh, Burma many, many years ago. 2003, wasn't it? Yes. After the show, that was a fantastic thing. They had a big celebration in the city and the magicians, the mega convention. We had a show in the opera house. And it was full with people who were wonderful. And after my after the show knocked on the door to the dressing room, there was a little, little boy. He said, Mr. Gallo, I give you something. And he put this around my wrist. And I said, What is it? It's nice. He said, It's a friendship, right, Lester. You and I are friends forever from now. Nice. And he said, also makes you look cool. <laughs> That's what when I started to grow uh, <laughs> And that was when I started to do the bandana. But actually. It can be very handy if you have no magic props. See? You can do it with many things. It's just a piece of string. But you have magical powers. I can now show you one million magic knots. <laughs> so I don't need any props. But I will start by showing you how to do a knot without letting go of the ends. Like this. Like this, like, like this, like this. Here we go, that's a magical knot. And, oh, wait, 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 it's half, 50%. Now when I squeeze the knot, it will disappear. Yeah. <laughs> Not in South Africa. I have to say the most magical words I know. Paul know what I'm going to say, maybe. The most magical words. Kruger Park. Good <laughs> words. <laughs> And, uh, well, I, I'm going to do some notes for you, because I have no props. Uh, I will do the Wilhelm Tell knot. You know Wilhelm Tell. And the scissor. So, um, what? Well, let's do it like this. I will cut the rope in half. I used to say that the, 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 the classic rope trick is the cut and restore. Five minutes after the rope was Invented. I was a magician <laughs> cutting and restoring meat. So here we have the center. Right? And people the always center. suspect there is something tricky with the ends. The big gun magnets. God knows what they think. So I will start by taking away the ends. Which means that we only have the middle of the rope left. <laughs> Correct, huh? And if I do like this, it's getting really complicated because now we have two middles but no ends. <laughs> if I do this, we are back to normal. <laughs> you see, so when the rope was invented, I'm sure that come a magician half an hour after to fi he figure out how to cut it in half and stop it. And it's a classic trick. There's just one thing which is very important. You must cut exactly in the center of the rope. Otherwise, it will not work. But here we've got the ends and here we've got the middle of the rope, right? Right here. So I will cut down and this will be very specific. <coughs> I cut it. So now we will have two pieces of rope with exactly the same length. <laughs> I'm traveling all the way from Sweden and I mess up everything. Okay? It's not possible to restore it. So I have to do something else. Now, tell you the truth. We start from the beginning in one row. The middle of the row is always opposite the ends. Right? So this will be good. Yeah. If I cut here, it will work perfectly. So I need a gentleman, a strong guy, a gentleman, a grown up. 
A guy sitting over there, smiling and looking like he's not here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to do a not here. How it looks from up here. Yeah. Totally different, huh? Lots of light, lots of friendly people sitting there, wondering, and then, by the way, your name? Hi. Wondering what Hi will do. So nice. <laughs> so, uh, will you do a little dance or sing a song? A stage is wrong for five minutes. <laughs> hey! Bye bye! <laughs> no, no, no. You should just. Just help me to tie this end together in a good, you know, square knot. One on top of that one. Yeah, very good. And now you pull it very tight, huh? And when you are pulling tight, I'm going to do something else to the rest of the world. <laughs> <laughs> because if you bring luck for a week. Thank you very much. Thank you. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it's difficult to cut the rope in two pieces. It's strange, but it's easier to do it when I cut it in three, it's much easier because I just have to fold it up like this. <laughs> anyway, I never know where this is for us. And if I cut here and I cut down there, it should be three pieces of rope, more or less the same length. Number one, number two, and number three. And now I will teach you how to create an illusion, how to deceive the brain and the eye. This you have to do in secret, before you enter the stage. But now you will see your secret preparation. You take one of the ropes, doesn't matter which one, because they're all the same, and you fold it in half. So this will be the prepared rope. So far, no problem, huh? Now you put that rope there, and you take the center of the rope, and you push it into your closest fist. And now it looks totally crazy. <laughs> we four ends at the top. And we got two ends at the bottom. So we have to do one more thing with, before we enter the stage. We have to take one end of the folded up rope and fold it down like this. And now we have created an illusion. It looks like two long rope, ropes and one short, right? So if I was entering now and I said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you a trick with two long rows and a short one, you wouldn't believe me. You wouldn't believe this is just an illusion, the short one. <laughs> this is an illusion, it's not existing. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I give you all the time. <laughs> well, it's difficult to understand. So I do it one more time. One hand goes up, one hand goes down. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? looks like one long and one short. This is, of course, also an illusion. And this time, this one is very, very long. <laughs> you know why? <coughs> because it's a big illusion. <laughs> now, this small one is not small. That would be logical, not very magical. This one is different size from the other. <laughs> so they're all different. If you say we have one small illusion, we have one. One very big one, and we have one medium size illusion. So in fact, we got the big one, we got the medium one, and we got the short one and the medium. Is there anyone who remember what I started with? One long rope, and then we cut it in three pieces, and they were exactly the same length. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, one, two ropes, two ropes, three ropes, same length. Now, I will ask you a question. You, know, you see, I used to work in places that we are drinking alcohol. Nightclubs, and restaurants, and things like that. So, the boss and I always have a test to see if the clients can have another whiskey or a beer without having too much problem the day after. It's just one question. Three rows. How many ends? Six. Six. Yeah, today our answer. You can have another one. But give him an applause. Give him an applause. Because, you see, last 
time I was working, it was an audience who was a little bit, they have been drinking a lot. <laughs> so when I said how many ends, there was a guy who said, no, nine and a half. <laughs> and that was a little bit embarrassing. So I thought I must make it a little bit easier for the guy. So I took away one rope. And I said, okay. Now, how many ends? Two ropes. Four. Let's check it. We got one, we got two, we got three, we got four. That's easier. Right? You know what is the easiest? One Yeah, of course, one rope. Only two pieces. Two ends. But now I have to get one long and one short. So let's tie them together with a good solid square knot. Yes, like the one you did. <laughs> okay, I need a little bit of help now. I need a help from a lady. And I spotted her already. She's sitting there, holding something in her hand. Would you be so kind to come and help me? Oh yes, big applause. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. First time you are going to do magic? Yes. Oh, it's interesting. I want you to bring out your this one. Imaginary one like that. Your job is to aim at the knot. On the count of three, you pull the imaginary trigger. You understand exactly. This is important. Yeah, yeah. I will count to three. Not on one, but on two. On three, yes. One. Two. We, the people who are sitting there, we do know a little bit. Just the line of the fire. Just a little bit. Yes, oh, that's perfect. You don't want to have any accidents. <laughs> On the count of three. One, two, three. Was oh, she surprised? Was there anyone who could hear anything? <laughs> May I have a look at that one? Ooh, ooh. Where you come from? Here. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. This is a typical mafia business. <laughs> <laughs> With a silencer. <laughs> you take your thing to silencer. And I, I, I will help you. I will ask for a drum roll. Not now. But when I ask for a drum roll, there will be a crash on the symbol. And you shoot at that man. Now they hear, in other words, you say, bang! Us. Try to make it be here. Yeah. Okay. Drum roll, please.
kineserna för tusentals år sedan. Och världen visste inte om det. För Kina var ett stängt land. Det var inte som de öppnade upp sig mot resten av världen. Och upptäckte sidnet. Och alla ville ha sidnet. Man skulle ha, ha sidnet, man skulle ha sex underkläder och sidnet. Så sidnet som man säger i Amerika, hotcakes. Vad säger man i Sverige? Det går som smör och sopen. Mm. Och de gjorde det i sådana här kvadrater i olika storheter. Men de hade fått allt ihop av bakfoten. De gjorde de här kvadraterna med sju hörn. Precis som den här. De tycker man kan visst tveksa mitt. Okej, okay. jag ska bevisa detta. Jag räknar hörnen. Hörn är noga med hörn nummer ett. Hörn nummer två. Här kommer hör nummer tre. Här kommer hör nummer fyra. Så far så god. Och här nere har vi hör nummer fem. Vad då? Nummer sex. Och här är nummer sju. Ni ser fortfarande ut som det. Jag behöver lite hjälp. Är det bra på? Att ni kan hjälpa mig. Kom. Jag ska göra så här att vi börjar med att eliminera hörnen. Ja. Vi gör en knut. Så här. Mm. Och så tar vi åt den knuten riktigt, riktigt hårt så här. Så. Ja. Sen... Så stoppar vi in den här. Och det är ett jobb nu. Det är att hålla i knuten. Du känner mig hårt nu då. Ja. Bra. Så, då är det en knut istället för två hörn. Fint. Då har vi två hörn här. Det här är fullständigt logiskt. Mm. Då gör vi så här. Att vi knyter ihop dem. Och så tar vi åt knuten allt vad vi kan. Och så stockar vi in den här. Du tar tag i det. Ja. Yep. Det är snyggt. Du står här och håller två knutar om man hör med dig. Ja. ja. Så har vi två hörn här nere. <laughs> ja, 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 jag är alltid nu. Då knyter vi ihop dem. Så behöver vi faktiskt en hand i tiden. Kan du komma och hjälpa mig? Okay. Vi knyter ihop dem här. Så. Det är stora så alla kan se. Tack ska du ha för att du kom fram. Så, vi knyter ihop. Så. Och så stoppar vi in den. Vad ska vi stoppa in den? Här kan vi. Uh, nej, vad ska jag göra? Vi lägger den ut. Och så håller vi knuten där. Du känner att du har den. Så, tre knutar. Hur många hörn är det? Ja, och här nere har vi knut. Hörn nummer sju. Ett, två, tre. En dyk med sju.